You know I try to be a good man I always give it my best But truth be told, someday I want to go to the wild, wild west And now, live from our Smokehouse studio It's time for Real Estate Jerky All your real estate questions answered by a provocatively lean expert host Ed Parco, MBA, veteran and president of Lending for Living And today's special expert guest Real estate advice you won't find anywhere else Plenty to chew on, starting now Hey, good afternoon. It's great to be here with my special guest, the North Modesto Kiwanians America Graffiti Festival Organizing Chairs. That's a big mouthful there. I have Brent Burnside and Charles Christensen, correct? Yep, Charlie, yeah. Charlie? Yep. All right, how you doing, Brent? Doing good. Good morning. Good morning. It's afternoon. What are you talking about? It is about? afternoon talk. <laughs> Jeez, one of those days. Hey, our number one goal on Real Estate Jerky is to help you, our listeners, learn about home ownership and how you can take advantage of the simplest way to build personal wealth in America, which is, of course, through home ownership. An important part of home buying is choosing the community you invest in. Iconic events like the American Graffiti Festival in Modesto have an impact. So let's get right into it. So... You guys, pretend I just came to Modesto. <laughs> I have no idea about what this event is. And why don't you give me some history, how it got started, where is it going, that kind of stuff. Anyone can start. Sure. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and start. Uh, and you are? Charlie Christensen. Thank yeah, thank you. And, uh, you know, this show, this is our 21st annual uh, American Graffiti Festival and Car Show. It was started uh, by our North Modesto Kiwanis Club back 20-plus uh, years ago. Um, a group of people got together and and decided to kind of remaster the, uh, the 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 graffiti culture in Modesto, and and bring the festival back with uh, classic cars, as well as um, uh, you know try and bring back the uh, the cruise effect here in Modesto, and so uh, it started with our North Modesto Qantas Club, and it's continued to this day. What and year it's just was bigger and bigger. Well, so this is our twenty first annual, so that puts it what uh, two thousand or excuse me, uh, uh, nineteen ninety eight. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. And how long have you been involved? Uh, I've been in the club for about ten years now. Involved uh, in with North Modesto Kiwanis and and then the graffiti festival from the from the word go. How about you, Brent? You know, and being uh, my neighbor Charlie here, and <laughs> our kids went to school together. Uh, Twisted my arm, so I've been in eight years now, and a, a big part of it was. Uh, Knowing that I'd be part of the graffiti culture and part of the car show, which you know I love uh, to death, growing up in Modesto myself, and uh, just love that time of year. Yep. So this is on the script, but what was your first car? Uh, I had a 1973 uh, Pontiac Ventura, right. four, four speed, four. 350 motor. I remember um, it well. You know, I'm just I'm glad to say that it, my first car wasn't a hybrid. Uh, it was a '69 <laughs> Mercury Cougar. Yeah, I had '69 Mustang. Well, there you go. Yeah. First car. I remember my mom bought it for me for nine hundred dollars. Yeah. That's mine was nine hundred as well. <laughs> Six hundred of mine and three hundred bucks from Pops. <laughs> I think I overpaid on mine. I paid fifteen hundred for my Pontiac Ventura. It was yeah. a you know newer car though. So yeah. what are you gonna do? <laughs> so um I know you know, the whole festival is rego- because of the movie America Graffiti, right? Mm-hmm. Is that how it all started? Is that why we do it? And right. Wants- George Lucas, you know, from a Downey High graduate. Uh Back in the, the days, uh, I guess it would be, what, the late 60s, early well, 70s? 1962. is 62? Yeah. yeah. Um, showing my age. I'm one of the younger ones in this group. So, uh, <laughs> um, But, yeah, the, the car culture, the, the graffiti season, you know, June is known as Graffiti Summer in Modesto, California. So uh, as we're getting ready to kick off this next week, uh, we really owe, owe it all to really George Lucas in the movie back then. So, Charlie, yeah. some info on that? Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean... Uh, that is where it where it hails from is uh, the the movie American Graffiti and cruising, you know, cruising Modesto. Some of our club members we have st- still a couple of founding members in our North Modesto Kiwanis Club from 1966 when we started, and uh, many of those folks remember cruising back then. It was down uh, 9th and 10th, I think, uh, yeah. in the downtown loop, you know, and uh, and then later, of course, it cruising kind of evolved and came out to McHenry Avenue. And we're fortunate now with the city's support and the, and the state, for that matter, Caltrans, to be able to take our parade up uh, up McHenry Avenue all the way to Briggsmore. So what comprises the America Graffiti Festival? 
Yeah, well, it's a, besides it's a, cruising, of course. Yeah, it, we do our parade uh, slash cruise on uh, Friday, June seventh, and uh, and then uh, uh, the, the the big uh, attraction on Saturday and Sunday is our festival and show out at uh, Mun- uh, the Modesto Municipal Golf Course, uh, and uh, we just heard. Th- uh, uh, the other day that uh, we are 200 cars ahead of last year as far as registration goes. We're over 1,000 cars already pre-registered for this wow. year's show. It, it, we like to say it's the biggest show west of the Mississippi. Maybe east of the Mississippi, too. We'll see. <laughs> well, we at least get the weather that uh, allows us to do it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, well, at least it's not going to hopefully be raining this year, right? No. Uh, <laughs> need Mother Nature to keep it in the low 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that'll be just right. Yeah, it'll be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, how many cars do you have in the parade? Is that the thousand you're talking about, or is that just for on display? Yeah, it, 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 we know it's over a thousand that come into the parade. Basically, for your registration dollars, uh, that allows you to be in the parade as well on Friday. And most of the car owners uh, choose to come in on the parade as well. Uh, last year, we we counted over a thousand cars on the parade route, and then kind of lost count after that. You know, it's hard to count cars as they're moving by you. You got to get but, one of those little clickers. Yeah, we had one, and it, uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it ran out at a thousand. Wow. So. Well, the great thing, Ed, though, is over the show weekend, we're going to have over fourteen hundred cars, possibly fifty to seventy-five motorcycles. We've got a local uh, Harley Davidson group that's mm-hmm. coming as a big supporter, Mitchell's Harley Davidson. So we're trying to cross a an era too with a. Uh, also, the Cars and Coffee group, which is a local younger generation group, coming in Sunday. And uh, they're expecting 250 to 300 cars just for a special appearance on Sunday also. with yeah. the From Lamborghini, Ferrari to Bentley. Uh, I think we had a Bugatti last year. Um, anybody that's got newer Corvettes, all the newer, uh, we'll say the big three, newer Mustangs, newer Camaros, um, the Dodge brother cars, they'll be there. So it's really a great turnout and yeah. getting to see them come in and join and bring their families. And uh, really, that's what I, I really consider the biggest uh, family event um, other than our Stanislaus County Fair that we have in Turlock every year. So this is a real good kickoff to summer. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. So what's the deadline to enter and what's it cost? Well, yeah, great question. I mean, uh, we've passed the uh, early registration uh, <laughs> deadline, which was May 27. But uh, you can you can register your vehicle up to day of. Um, we do registration out at the Clarion Hotel over on Sisk, uh, and you can do day of registration there. Uh, just to remind everybody, uh, registration sixty dollars, um, and then if you want to get yourself a graffiti shirt, T-shirt uh, as well, it's another ten bucks. Um, so for seventy bucks, you can have your car registered and have a T-shirt and participate in the parade, and as well as uh, be out there on the show Saturday and Sunday. Are there any particular requirements to be in the parade? Ah, for you, you know, it's uh, so Brent 19, can talk now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Brent talk. Yeah, <laughs> nineteen seventy nine and older. Um, yeah. We did change it probably four years back, um, just to actually kind of a point to get more of the community involved. Went from seventy two to seventy nine, but again this year we're going to honor the seventy nine and older, and um, as long as our our community, our MPD does a great job, uh, the city, the our Parks and Rec, our Streets streets Division group come out and uh, everything stays uh, cool and nobody's uh, going too crazy hot rodding. (laughs) Um, We'll have a great, easy over a thousand cars. And again, they're classics, any make and model prior to 1979. And they've uh, actually even had them come out um, older trucks that they'll uh, cart in. We'll call them the uh, the princess vehicles that they'll get trailered in. They don't get driven from city to city. Mm-hmm. So uh, we get some vehicles that are just remarkable, one of a kinds out here, which we're yeah. you know our community is fortunate to see. <clears throat> yeah, because some of these could be show quality, right? They come out here. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, most of them I'd yeah. say are sh- show quality. Yeah, and yeah, a lot of them don't like to drive those right very far. Right, right. You want to keep them clean. Uh huh. Right. Polish them all the time. No yeah. rock chips. Yes. Right. <laughs> no, no curb yeah. rash on the wheels. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. no water on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I see some of these people driving some of these cars, and when it's raining, you know, I'm like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> All right, so um, we're going to go off for a break, and we'll be right back. Okay, so hey, we're going. Uh, we'll be right back with Brent Burnside and Charlie, right? Mm-hmm. Charlie Christensen, mm-hmm. North Modesto Kwanians, and they're part of the American Graffiti Festival, and they're the organizers. And remember, if you have any questions or comments, you can dial pound two fifty, say the keyword "real estate jerky." And you'll get into us. And you can leave our questions or comments on Facebook and Twitter. And we'll be right back. 
See how fast that first 10 minutes went? Yeah, that's 10. Actually, 9.54 in six seconds. <laughs> <laughs> we had six seconds left, which I like to keep. Yeah. And I even got through all the questions. I didn't think I was swaying. Yeah. You're good. Okay. You're good. You're all right. You're all right. You're fine. He just had Charles on there. That's, that's all good. Yeah. I haven't called many things. Yeah, just don't call me late for dinner. Right, but <laughs> that's what I so, will, there, will people call in and ask questions on the people? Okay, we're not so get surprised by it. No, 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 no. <laughs> we're, we're, this is recorded. It'll be playing on Saturday. Saturday. We can't get, you weren't here. Um, the engineer that's here on Saturday is and so we had to quit using him because he wouldn't do our ins and outs, all the thing that Marlene programs and wants them to do. Yeah. And so we have that's why we've been coming in on Wednesday pre-recording. Plus, then it makes it easier for other people who we want to have on the show mm -hmm. come on a, a Wednesday because a lot of people are like I can't give up my Saturday, I can't be in here. So it allows us to do that. And yeah. so our plan is to go back live two days, two weekends a month, and then the recording two weeks a, a month. Mm -hmm. My wife loves the fact that I record now during the middle of the week. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Because for the first six months, you're like, we're going to have a weekend. Yeah. And I'm like, you're a nurse. You know how many years I had to work? <laughs> and it was when our kids were young. And you would be at work on the weekend, and I'd be at home with the damn kids. I mean, no offense. Yeah. And then you'd go, you'd have your two days off during the week when the kids are in school. <laughs> <laughs> but no hard feelings. Yeah, I didn't take it personally. <laughs> no, no, no. He just got out of therapy is all. Yeah. Um, Certainly, uh, at some point, we'd love to talk about the fact that this is a nonprofit. Okay, you, know. you can talk about it next when we come back. So I'll just say, hey, we were talking during the break, and you're talking about that this is a nonprofit. What do you want to say about it? Yeah, does that work? Yeah, sure. Shall we use that as? So I have. Um, you already did that. What are the categories of the show? What are the prizes <coughs> for the winners? Who is the music stages this year? Any oldies, celebs? Are there any original? What's Faros? Pharaohs. Pharaohs. Oh yeah. Yeah, the you pharaohs know, will be there. The original. Uh, Let me get up our. Uh, is that the group? The, the, the pharaohs original club. Our classic yeah, group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, from the. Yeah, from the. Is it F A R O? F A R O S. Yeah. Yep. Pharaohs. I actually wrote it like pharaohs, so I remember how to say it. <laughs> yeah. Or the pharaohs, as he said in the movie. Uh, All right, Twelve minutes. This next one. All right. You guys ready? Yeah. Oh, no pressure. I just want to grab. Uh, you mentioned Give me thirty the, seconds. You, you mentioned the music lineup. I want to grab okay. that. Um, and now, when you guys are talking, take your time. Okay. Don't be in a hurry. Think for a second, and then go. Yeah, it just stretches it out for us. Okay. Um, I had one guy in here, um, and he was like, rah, 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 rah. "It's like okay, yeah. you need to slow down. Slow down we're going to be finished in the first <laughs> segment and have nothing else to talk about. Take yeah. Your time. Yeah. People want they, you paint them a picture because they can't see you." Got it, okay. Um, oh, here's the music lineup right here. You got it? Oh, okay. So what do you, you want to handle the, what do you want to handle on the music? You want to handle that or you want to handle the non-profit stuff or? Well, let me do some of the show stuff. You know more of the, you want to do some of the non-profit? Sure. Yeah, do that. Uh, some of the groups we support. And then you'll have the show, the music yeah. stage. And yeah, I'll do music. Yeah, that's good. Same thing, we'll hear the music and then I'll take it over and say my little intro. Okay. Real Estate Jerky is back on Power Talk 1360. Chew on that. And we're back. And for those of you just turning in, I'm Ed Parco, Mortgage Advisor with Lending for a Living and your host, along with my very special guest, Brent Burnside, Charlie Christensen, and they're with Modesto, I'm sorry, North Modesto Kiwanians, America Graffiti Festival, and they're the organizers. And so how long, so how long and how many people does it take to put this together? Oh, gosh. Ten, like five people? Yeah, it's just a couple of people, just a couple of our <laughs> friends. No, uh, we, we we solicit and get volunteer groups, uh, especially for the parade on Friday, which is my charge is to work and organize a parade. But we have north of 300 people out there just for the parade on Friday, uh, manning street corners, providing you know support with the barricades and trash cleanup and things like that. Uh, um, and our club is uh, close to 100 members strong with North, Meta North Modesto Kiwanis. And uh, all of the volunteer support is out there as well, both during, during the parade and on the show. Don't forget our family members. Family yeah. members are an integral part. We get kids and spouses and significant others out there helping uh, lead the charge as well. 
And don't forget also that we're always uh, accepting applications for new Kwanians. <laughs> new Kwanians. So if, if you like the car show and yeah. you want to be uh, involved with a great nonprofit organization every year. Yeah. North Modesto Kwanis. I mean, it is the stellar club in Modesto, don't you think? Yeah, Charlie. Charlie one, of, by your first, one of them. <laughs> yes. Charlie would be proud to buy your first couple of breakfasts. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. And then you can always come over to Modesto Sunrise Rotary and actually have a really good breakfast. Have yes. You, have you heard of them? Yeah, they're they're. The, I, think yeah. they're I think we've had a few little meetings together. They do a little tailgate barbecue. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think you ask us all the time to come out and help. For you, we absolutely we appreciate you guys, your help. Modesto uh, Sunrise Rotary and other clubs all out there supporting and helping. I'm just glad we all help each other. Yep. You know that's what it's about in Modesto. Helping about the community. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Um, so that was what you wanted to talk about in the nonprofit, or uh, so yeah. I, I wanted to make sure. If, folks knew you know this show is a hundred percent uh non non-profit uh focused that is to say all proceeds from this show come come into our uh service club north modesto kiwanis and then we deploy that that those funds right back out into the community into a lot of different organizations uh, within the community of modesto as well as stanislaus county last year we're we're proud uh, proud to say we uh we brought in over hundred thousand dollars and we were able to deploy that money back out into the community. Uh, we think uh, it's been made obvious to us that the uh, car owners uh, that come to our show, one of the reasons they enjoy coming to our show year after year is the fact that we're a nonprofit. You know, we're, we're out trying to help the community raise funds and, and deploy it back into the community. So. And that's not just the count. That's what you guys do. But then when the people come here, they're visiting the store and eating and oh, yeah. everything else that they do while they're here or stay at a hotel while they're here instead of. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah we have a great relationship with the city of Modesto and Modesto PD. And they're, I think they're, they're very much appreciative of what this does, community impact for the city of Modesto as well. Oh, and the Visitors yeah. Bureau, you know, through the whole Stanislaus County, you know, 99 corridor, the hotels are packed over the weekend. Yeah. Um, so your restaurants are getting. Uh, lined up, and you know, gas stations are selling that high high octane gas. <laughs> for these hot waters. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, both of us being past presidents, also, and board members, that uh, you know, truly every every dime of this goes back to um, our Stanislaus County nonprofits, and it's the kids that we service, um, eighteen and younger uh, groups. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. uh, a, a list of probably. 30 to 50, I would say, mm-hmm. and they can be from, you know, $500 to $5,000 for some of the bigger ones. We uh, support the local high schools with the uh, sober grad nights. Mm-hmm. Um, we do $21,000 high school senior scholarships um, for the just Modesto City School um, kids. So we just had that two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. We uh, handed some of those out, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, just such a great event, and as you know, Ed, being in Modesto and living here, and uh, we're such a, such a giving community. So uh, I think everybody really cherishes this event and what it really stands for. And uh, both yeah. of us just proud to be part of it and uh, sustain it, uh, keep it going year to year, and uh, we'll be glad with a ten percent increase <laughs> year to year. Um, you know, we'll have to look it up. I've uh, mentioned that uh, we do have a chance to maybe uh, we'll see what the uh, the powers that be, but there is a Guinness Book of World Records that we're getting close to as far as the largest parade, classic yeah. car parade in, in uh, North America. So, <laughs> what's that number need to be? It's, it's a little over sixteen hundred. So, All right. if we're getting close to twelve, but again, we don't want to have them shut our power off here real quick. So, uh, <laughs> I'll just I'll just plant the seed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Well, put it out there that you need more people to show up so you can do that. Yeah, that's that's right. And, I mean, it's probably difficult to make all that county. You need more people to come out and count cars for you, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and have a backup. Yeah, backup clicker. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's – so all that – is this this is your largest fundraiser for your club, correct? Yes. And do you have other fundraisers for your club? So we do um, – I'm not trying to get off of this. I'm just yeah. so people can know what you yep. – you know, golf. We, we've done for years a, a CASA court-appointed court special advocates golf tournament – um, however, it's turned into a concert now, uh, this third year this year. Um, and that's usually been, uh, probably a pass through of about 30 to 35,000. So that's probably our second largest. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, we've, uh, teamed up with the city of Modesto and, um, the Santa breakfast. That's the, uh, 
I guess the first weekend in December. So we do that at the uh, senior center. And the, all those funds, uh, we put that on the pancake breakfast. And all those funds go back to the city's leisure, leisure buck program, um, which helps the kids with sports equipment, um, getting in the city uh, rec leagues and park league stuff. Mm-hmm. And then Charlie's more uh, well, helps. We just had our 53rd, uh, 53rd? Yeah, 53rd chicken a go go uh, barbecue chicken uh, dinner that we do. Started it in 1966 and been doing um, it every year since. So, so let's go back to your biggest one. Yeah. All right. So um, we went over the financial impact that it does for the, the city and for you guys and what you do with the money. Um, where can. Where do you enter? Where can listeners go to enter? Is it online? Do you have to contact someone in particular? Is there a phone number? Sure. Um, so, uh, as is far that as, a flyer? Yeah. Then we can actually get some of those, and we can put them on our Facebook page. Yeah. yeah. So during, if you listen to the show, you can go on our Facebook page yeah. and download them. But um, also, just tell us, you know, yeah. where they can get those from. You if, guys. if folks want to register their cars, they can go to our website, AmericanGraffitiFestival dot com. And uh, this flyer that we're looking at here is available for download. They can do online registration as well as day of physically registering over at the uh, Clarion Hotel on CISC. Um, that's usually after three, I believe, we start uh, open registration over there. Um, for spectators, uh, uh, people who want to come to the show on Saturday or Sunday, it's $10 a person. Uh, we're out at the Modesto Municipal Golf Course. We're fortunate we get to hard fence the entire golf course, so we own the entire golf course that weekend for the show, uh, and we have gate entrances there. Uh, parking, spectator parking is available on the golf course, so you're parking on grass uh, in that in, over there in that neighborhood, and like I said, we got the fencing around. Um, for people who are new to Modesto and listeners, where is that located, the sure. uni? Yeah, it's off of Tuolumne uh, uh, Boulevard right next to uh, – uh, what we refer to as the Modesto Nuts Stadium, okay. uh, John Thurman Field, uh, over there, and uh, uh, right off of uh, Highway 99 okay. in Tuolumne. Yep. All right, so we went through how, um, what's the deadline to enter, you can do a day of still. Mm-hmm. Um, is there categories to the show? You know, we haven't, with, with such a, a broad uh, area of cars, and the we've always kept this as a, really a, we, we haven't departmentalized it with, let's say, best paint or biggest motor or um, oldest car type thing. We get such a, a variety. Uh, let alone we've got eight to nine states represented. Um, we've actually had a couple cars last year, first from Australia. have another one coming that was shipped over earlier uh, this spring. will be entered again. They're mm-hmm. coming back. Um, but departments, we have a system in place with our awards committee that – um, every three years, so you can't win a an award um, mm-hmm. repetitively. So every year, every three years, you know you have a chance again. But we track it. But uh, we usually do a couple trucks, and we want to do a couple classics. Uh, the uh, as far as the old older classics prior to '60. Um, but you'll see one that's got a crazy paint job. You'll see uh, some you know, low riders that are just you know just remarkably redone and the uh, investment these folks have made um, are just truly a cherished gem. Um, from Jeeps, we had a motorcycle last year. Might see a rat rod or two. Yeah, the rat yeah. rods are out. Um, yeah, I think uh, we just, uh, well, have 30 awards this year. We bumped it up from 25 to 30, and we've got a... And beautiful, what are those awards? They're a unique uh, patina-finished uh, plate that... Um, has actually become quite a, a good little collector. It's a unique plate that we've uh, had custom made. And then we do some custom polishing within our, our award committee. And they also do some custom lettering in it. And this year we're adding, um, they'll be individually engraved with the car owner's name on it mm-hmm. and their vehicle. So we're adding that little touch to it this year. Yeah. Um, Most all those trophies are, are uh, sponsored. Uh, a business or a, a person might want to sponsor the trophy and we'll, we allow, we let the sponsors, if they'd like, come out and pick the car, you know, oh, for really? that award. Yeah. So it's kind of non-competitive uh, judging. So did you guys get all your sponsors you needed this year? You know, we have, as far as for advertising, you know, we'd always be open to, you know, having someone, you know, generous enough to sponsor and, you know, we in turn uh, give them comp tickets, uh, some of our t-shirts um, that we do. Um, we've got that on our website too, the sponsor levels. As far as our our non food vend or our food vendors, we're full. Um, 
as we're talking further with sponsor type stuff, food, uh, regular non food vendors can apply um, even the Friday before. So it'd be the seventh um, for the two day show at the mini golf course. Um, small booths from a 10 by 10 all the way up to 10 by 30. Um, you're still welcome to sign up. But uh, as far as sponsors, uh, you know, come out and see what it is. And uh, we'd love to have you next year. Um, and you know, we've got, if you imagine 1300 cars, all get a, a custom, you know, a fancy poster that they get to keep as a, and it has our major sponsors on it. Um, our Facebook has everybody on it mm-hmm. and we've got such a great buy in with our local community, um, from insurance offices, real estate offices, uh, car related. Hey Brent, places. we got to go to the break real quick. All right. And then we'll pick up right from there when we come back. Hey, as a veteran myself, I think it's important to support members of our military. We always honor veterans business owners during the show. If you are a vet or you know a vet that could use some free advertising, please message us their name and number to pound 250. Say the key word, real estate jerky, and we'll take it from there. Thank you. Talk to you when we get back. I went over a little bit. I'm sorry. You were just flowing perfectly. I was like, <laughs> I was like he's got to stop somewhere else. else. You know, it's like, when I just wait for the I should have had you tip the hat or something. <laughs> yeah, gotcha, gotcha, you no, know, it's perfect. You, you were talking, we're talking, and you were flowing. So I'm like, I'm not going <laughs> to All right, so we, we still haven't went over the um, music? stages of okay. the music. Yeah, we'll so maybe we can catch it. I need to explain All right, so we didn't. All right, so do you want to finish where you left off when we were going to. Except the sponsors, or. Yeah, you're talking about sponsors, and we we're still. <coughs> so I'll just go back to that as soon as you're done with that. Okay. I want to get into the music. We okay. haven't got there yet, and we only have one more break. Three minutes. Okay, gotcha. Which goes pretty fast, doesn't it? That does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you just think about it. I mean, you. Yeah. All right. You ready? Should I talk about our car dealers that have been involved? Type you can do whatever you want. It's yeah. pretty easy. Why don't you hit on that for? Okay. As part of this, I'll give an example of that. Of the sponsors, yeah. Kind of stuff. Yeah. That level. You have a whole bunch right over there. That's. Yep. All right, ready for you. Real Estate Jerky is back on Power Talk 1360. Chew on that. And we're back, and I'm Ed Parco, your host, and I'm here with our special guest today, um, North Modesto Kwanians, past president Brent Burnside and Charlie Christensen. They're the chairs of the America Graffiti Festival. Um, so I think I asked this, how long you've been into chairing the event? You already told me that, right? You know, actually, I, this is my third year, okay. uh, mm-hmm. taking over from the infamous John Sanders. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, this this club is really just a, a big supporter and a... It takes an army, and uh, I'm just the whipping post when uh, someone needs to make a phone call. But it, from Charlie and the parade committee, um, our members from registration, um, they do it out of their home. Uh, we've, we've just got a great support team. So, again, it's it's thanks to a bunch of Kwanians and you the bet. community. Yep. So I wanted to go back to where we were about sponsors before we went to break. So oh. why don't we pick that up? Yep. Sponsors, um, it, it, the deadline has been done, but... Um, our trophies have all been picked out to do that as well. Um, but come on out for next year and see what, uh, what we're all about. Uh, a couple good examples. We've, uh, been fortunate to have some car dealers back involved with us and, uh, been supported by the Alfred Matthews group, uh, Heritage Ford, um, also Central Valley Automotive. Those three, I'm trying to get back into getting a, uh, an old and new era display where we can show the, uh, old classics with what the new 2019, 2020 vehicles look like. So this year we'll have some new cars on display at mm-hmm. their sponsored, uh, corners. And then we've also got Modesto Subaru, uh, Modesto European, the Mercedes dealer, um, have come in this year and they're, uh, wanting to be a little more included on Sunday with our new cars and coffee setup, which will be the newer cars. Mm-hmm. So, uh, again, we keep them, uh, kind of separated for the folks that like one era versus the other and um just looking forward to another great show yeah yeah so i I hear there's music is that correct at this this event yeah there is who wants to talk about that (laughs) i'll let charlie he's the music guy i like the cars (laughs) (laughs) well uh we do we have a music uh, venue live stage uh as well as uh, piped in music uh, throughout the day a couple of djs on on campus um or on site rather at different locations, our live music stage is right in the right in the middle of it all. Uh, between the all the food vendors and some of the non-food vendors, um, we have uh, bands that are uh, 
pretty familiar to the region. Uh, Journey Revisit is going to be uh, performing on Saturday. Rock of Ages uh, is performing on Saturday. Uh, Tribute is por- performing on Sunday, uh, as well as some other bands as well. Um, one of our club members, Kyle Barker, with Barker's Music, uh, is is our our music uh, guru. You know, he provides all the sound stage uh, uh, equipment as well as uh, uh, books the guests uh, that are going to be out there. It's a it's a rocking good time. I mean, you got fourteen hundred cars, fifteen whatever our car, car count ends up being. So you get a day full of uh, admiring cars, and then you can come over and have uh, have a little food and and beverage and and watch the show, uh, the live music part of it. Is there any particular time that they come on? Is there like a schedule that they could look at online? There is. There's a schedule on our website uh, that you can uh, uh, avail yourself to. Um, so I do know that uh, Saturday, the Journey Revisited uh, group is going to be performing at two o'clock on Saturday. Uh, Rock of Age is going to be noon on Saturday. And then Sunday, uh, Tribute's going on at 11. The other uh, components there, the other live uh, performers, uh, I don't have the schedule in front of me, but it's on our website. You okay. can actually yeah, catch that. And that's part of your $10 ticket entry, too, by the way. You know, So there's no separate you know, ticket right. to, to go like appreciate the that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're not paying for every, every last component. You know? um, any oldie celebs coming? Anybody? You want to talk well, about Gene? Uh, you know, our infamous Gene Winfield, he'll be back. Um, so he's our original kind of car builder, you would say, customizer back in the, the day. And uh, I had a few notes, and I guess his first cruising car, for those of you that still have a, a 50 Mercury Monterey, uh, was a very limited production vehicle, um, but it had a high potential to be customized, is what my notes say. And uh, the folks that are out there that are in the classic car culture know that Gene was known for uh, chopping tops and lowering them down, whereas you had a half the size windshield to look out. But uh, I guess you could say cruising low and slow yeah. and some real custom fancy paint jobs that uh, are very unique. Uh, you'll know a Gene Winfield car when you see one. So he'll be out. Um, he's going to have some display items. Um, years prior, we've been lucky. He's The time isn't right when someone's had a vehicle. He's chopped a top at the show twice, but uh, nothing that extreme yet this year. So he'll be there for autographs and... Yep. You're selling his uh, memorabilia. You bet. And I also want to make note: uh, every year for the parade, we have a we uh, select a grand marshal uh, to uh, to honor. And this year, we uh, we were happy to select a local uh, person, Peter Hisher, as our grand marshal this year. So he'll be uh, uh, in one of the parade cars on the front end of our parade on Friday, uh, waving to the crowd. And Pete's been a longtime supporter of of our festival he's had a car in most every year um and a local you know local local boy uh downey grad as well i believe Mm -hmm. yep and uh so we're happy to have him as our grand marshal this year yeah and i know we talked about before the parade kicks off when on friday sure the parade so so we'll start closing down the parade route at three but the the actual parade itself is uh kicks off at 6 30 and it's a two hour two hour parade till 8 30 and then uh you know, we begin the process of reopening McHenry Avenue, which is a real treat. <laughs> and I, you know, the MPD is really against cruising, you know, all the signs for years. In the, so when do you have to be off McHenry cruising? Is that 830? Yeah. So, so uh, the, the parade, we're, we're saying the parade is sanctioned from 630 to 830. And then we'll start to uh, uh, disperse everybody, disperse the crowds and uh, begin to reopen and reopen McHenry in downtown. There is an after party I, I want everyone to know, too. Uh, I guess it would be the CVB. Uh, is, in downtown Improvement District. Downtown Improvement District. They're putting on an after party down on 10th Street Place. Uh, so a lot of the car owners, a lot of the cruisers, if you will, will make their way down to the downtown area, have their cars on display that late, late Friday night, and uh, there'll be live music in the 10th Street Place uh, as well as, you know, uh, dancing and the whole bit so. where are they gonna have the cars on display because that's gonna be a lot of cars yeah not everybody goes to the downtown after the cruise but uh they'll have them on j street 10th street uh uh i street uh around onto 11th and 12th kind of just you know right. herringbone right uh, parked in there well, i just know there's gonna, that would be, could be a lot of cars down there oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah take up a lot of yeah. space and i do want to say too just i mean the modesto pd the city has been nothing but supportive of this uh, of this event uh, the most interesting picture you can capture is when you see uh, a parade of cars going up McHenry Avenue 
and you see the cruising prohibited sign uh, <laughs> right. on, on northbound McHenry. Uh, that's a heck of a picture, yeah. uh, and it's awesome. Uh, but the city's super supportive, and, and uh, again, PD, everybody, awesome. Streets right. Division, too, they're, they can't do it without them. I mean, the, the, the participation from the communities, I mean, from what the chamber, the chamber's a big supporter as well, uh, has got to be over the twenty five thirty thousand 30,000 range, I would think. From when, when, you, you see people eight to ten rows deep all the way downtown. Oh gosh, yeah, the parade, lined up on McHenry. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, the local businesses have opened up to where they're doing like employee appreciations. You know, and they're out in the front on their their patio or their sidewalk area. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's it's we're, we're truly blessed to have a quite a unique kickoff to our, our graffiti summer with this show. And we're real quick too, Ed is uh, take your rec- time. I recognize <laughs> uh, Modesto Air Street Rodders. You know, they're going to have their kickoff this, this Sunday, their show at the Village. Mm-hmm. Uh, they help with our parking on the parade night. Uh, Mid-Valley Chevy Club, um, they've been a big help um, year to year. Mm-hmm. Um, they'll be also uh, out there, and they'll have the sh- show and shine uh, four nights ahead of our graffiti parade uh, this next week mm-hmm. um, at a various spots. Um, but it's really, uh, you know, you come out and you got all the paint glistening and, the exhaust rattling and <laughs> it's a it's a great great month i love it yeah it's a good time yeah. so we got about a minute and a half before we go to break um now it says on my notes there is the original pharaohs around modesto are they coming who are they right are people who are new to modesto who don't understand who they are who yeah. are they oh close your doors everybody <laughs> <laughs> the pharaohs are uh, an organization that was started uh, many years ago here in modesto um and uh they, they're they're highlighted in the movie American Graffiti, uh, but the Pharaohs Club, uh, we've been uh, connected uh, with them since we brought our parade back into the fold. And they'll be they'll be also leading the parade this year uh, right behind our dignitaries. We'll have the mayor and city council uh, on, on parade, but then the Pharaohs will come in right behind that. And um, they're just a great group of, group of guys that have uh, kind of revitalized that, that club uh, and brought it back to life these last eight or so years and and uh yeah just a just a good good group and how many people how many people are in that club i think usually i you know i don't know the exact number there we'd have to ask uh, uh one of their members but uh, you know usually the cars that that are that are in the parade number about 10 to 12 uh cars in the in the parade for us so but there's probably more than that as total club members not really yeah it's a good it's a it's a they're trying to rekindle the the good old days the and glory uh, days, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, and the ones that don't have a car again, don't have a car, go get another car. <laughs> yeah, they do. I imagine yeah. that's a prerequisite to have a classic car to be a pharaoh again. Probably, you probably have to have a car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Not a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, let's go out for a break. Um, thank you for listening to Real Estate Jerky. We'll be right back after this break. Remember, you can listen to us anytime through our podcast at iHeartMedia um, on iTunes. And just remember, you can Google us and find us. That's Real Estate Jerky. We'll talk to you when we get back. All right, so we have like probably 10 minutes. Pretty fast. But well, that went quicker. Because you knew what you're talking about. All right, so one of the questions I have left, so I went through all the questions I have. Um, it'll be, think of, like, I want you both to think of the thing you like best about American Graffiti. So what is the, what do you like best about American Graffiti Festival? About, about our show, what do we like best? So you got a few seconds to think about that. Start with you, Charles. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> she scripts this out for me. There we go. That's she scripts awesome. it out for so me. So that, said it. And most of the and time I just cut it out. For years. And yeah, so you. what I'm going to do is... <laughs> I don't stay with script. All right, so this is our last... Okay. How long do we have? Ten and a half, deducting your minute. Got a minute? Ten and a half minutes left. So it's going to fly by. Yeah. All right. So what happens is I used to do the full, and then I would cut cut you off and try to say my thing I have here that's supposed to be a minute. Yeah. And it would brush it and screw it up. So now we just cut it off. Give me a minute. I do it after everybody leaves. Oh, then, gotcha. Yeah. Um, so all right. right. So we, what we this last ten minutes should be about anything we forgot. Anything you want to put in there? Okay. I mean, if you're going to ask what we like, what, to me, what I like best about our show. Don't tell me. I don't want to know right now. Okay. Tell me when you get. If you just make sure you have it. I'll run off you. Okay. Just, All right. Uh, um, I got it. 
I mean, yours is going to be as much about the cars as anything, I would imagine. Yeah. Uh, so, and remember, okay. you can stretch it as long as you want. Yeah. And I'll, he'll tell me when we have two minutes left. I'll let you know when we have two minutes left. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, what have we not captured? Uh, anything? Uh, so went, music. We got vendors. Now, there's a movie at the State Theater, right? American Graffiti that day? On Saturday. I don't know if it's that. I don't know what day it is. Because um, it says yes, on here it's playing today at two p.m. So the, it's, that's they will roll that that movie at the state, but I don't know if Marlene it's, is that move that movie this Saturday at two p.m. American so Graffiti. She said yes. Okay. So like tonight? No, no, this like next. Yeah, tonight. Yeah, yeah tonight. Right. right. Today at two p.m. All right. So we can all can throw that in there. Also, you know, if you want to get started on your week coming up. There you go. Now, is there anything between? Or is you double checking? <laughs> um, is there anything next week during so the week? The, that's, that's the, 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 the Mid Valley Chevy Mid -Valley Show Chevy's. and Shine. Yeah. There's nothing for us specifically, right. but but. Um, so then we don't want to bring anything up then. Yeah. Uh, June first, Saturday, American Graffiti. 2 p.m. That's just, so that would be this Saturday. That's right? today, yeah. If you're running it on Saturday. Yeah. So, all right. So, did you want to throw that in there? Hey, would you want to start off your, you know, graffiti? Start it off. Hey, that 2 p.m. today. There is a. So, I can sure. Slide that down. Sure, sure. Or they can go to Pulp Fiction. No. <laughs> We're good. All right. You guys ready? Yep. Yeah, this Saturday, 2 p.m. Saturday, 2 so, p.m. So today at 2 p.m. She says yes to that too. <laughs> She's asking what does it say on the script. I don't read. It says 2 p.m. I just was verifying. We got it handled. Hey, uh, 10 minutes and 30 seconds, you said, right? All right? Yes, and then you still have your minute after that. Gotcha. Let's go. Leaving the bull behind, it's Real Estate Jerky. And we're back for our final segment of the show. I'm Ed Parco, Mortgage Advisor at Lending for Living with my guest, North Modesto Kiwanians, past president, Brent Burnside, and Charlie Christensen, chairs of the America Graffiti Festival. So one of the questions I want to ask is, what do you like best about the festival? And uh, not all at once. So. Okay. <laughs> well, Charlie's raised his hand. I'll be quiet. <laughs> I don't know how you get to go first all these times. Hey, uh... What do I like best? You know, it's it's the cars, but it's the it's the community vibe, man. It's it it is just so fantastic to see folks. You know, grandparents bringing their grandkids to the show, or or uh, young young people, you know, twenty somethings coming to the show and checking out these cars, and just the it's it's the it's the community vibe of the whole thing. Um, uh, you know, you get out there and you start hearing, uh, uh, you know, Bill Haley in the comments playing, you know, rock around the clock at the showgrounds. And, and you see all these, you know, maybe a 57 Chevy or a 69 uh, Mercury, you know, Cougar out there or something like that. And you just think, man, this is, it's just, it's just a great vibe. It's just so much fun. And yeah. the fact that we give, I mean, it's all done for, for the community, you know, the community's benefit by going out and seeing this stuff. And then also the dollars that come in, we get to turn back around to the community. So it's just, it's a great vibe. You know, you, the, our parents and grandparents. So is this what you like best about it? Or are you adding on? No, nah, I'm going to add on to this, Ed. Uh, <laughs> you know, for me and growing up and, you know, loving cars, uh, it just it's the good old days. You know, life was a lot more right. simple back then, uh, less distractions. Um, you know, it's uh, cars and rock and roll, you know. Yeah. Uh, so it's just. You know, coming out, you, you you can relax. We've got some great food. You know, the again, the climate hopefully will be in the low 90s. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it was a day back in the 50s and 60s. You know, it was after the, the wars, and people were, uh, 
you know, wanting to celebrate and, you know, realize, you know, the value of, of life and it's, uh, it's fun stuff is, you know, look at Elvis Presley and Charlie knows more of the older bands. Uh, well, but, thanks. What yeah, are you trying you know, to say? Buddy Holly. And, uh, <laughs> but, um, you know, the cars aren't going to disappear. Um, they're becoming more and more valuable and to see those come back. And, you know, I walked it for years growing up with my dad. It used to be on Father's Day weekend. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, saying, oh, yeah, my, you know, your brother or your uncle had this car and or your grandpa had, you know, one of these. And my grandpa had probably six different vehicles. Then my dad had eight. And now I've got ten. Well, don't tell my wife that. Uh, <laughs> you mean eight. nine. You mean nine. Yeah, nine. nine. There you go. <laughs> nine, nine. Um, but uh, it's, it's just a good old time. And, you know, Modesto has grown from what I remember, 30,000 people to, what, 130,000 now? Or no, 230,000. Uh, 230, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Everybody comes back in uh, and enjoys a community event like this. Yeah, that's awesome. So, because um, I remember as a kid growing up, my grandfather was into T-Birds. Oh, yeah. You know, so for me, it was all about helping every weekend work on a T-Bird. You yeah. know, re and you'd have, they wouldn't just have one. There's like five of them that they were taking parts off of to make the one, right? And yep. So, oh, yeah. And it was from in the 50s all the way up to 64. Yeah. 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 So for me, you'll, yeah. you'll see the T birds out there. Even though I'm a, I had a Mustang, six nine Mustang, but the T birds still that they're to That's me because of my grandfather. You know, yep. yeah. That's an iconic yeah. car. It's awesome. Yeah. And everybody getting with the way TV is and all these, from Chip Foose to all these different telephone Mecham Auto auctions and seeing the value of these vehicles are just they're a real big investment and uh, and they're a good investment. You do get the right one. Uh, they're keeping their value. You bet. Um, that was one of the questions is why do you think the classic car legacy has hung around for so long in Modesto? Oh, oh yeah. I mean, you well, know, why? You I know, mean, I, you think it's because of the movie or you think it's, which by the way, I think he, it's today at 2 PM. If I remember right, what you can, Oh, the right. State the Theater, American right? graffiti is at the state at two o'clock today. Yeah, like start off your weekend. Get there going. you go. Yeah. Um, our logo, in fact, it's on my, my shirt here. The American for graffiti. listeners who can't see that, yeah, what yeah. you can do well, is I'm go to real form, so you can go to our yeah. YouTube Let channel. Let me describe it to you. <laughs> our, our logo for our event is the American Graffiti Festival, and then underneath it, it says where it all began. One of our club members actually said that as an offhand comment twenty something years ago, and it stuck. And and I think, I think for us in in our community, that's why it's so important. It's such a part of our culture. Is this is where it all began. From our perspective, I mean, American Graffiti and where were you in '62? Uh, that, that nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I wasn't even thought about. It. <laughs> but uh, but you know th that that was that was the deal. You know, cruising in cars and and uh, and it's just become part of our our blood. So I think I think that's where the value why the value sticks. And know? and we were talking before the show that even in the '80s, you know, you were cruising. It wasn't until they outlawed it in what the '90s. Here in Modesto, yeah, and, right yeah, at the beginning yeah. of the. 90s. So I mean, I remember I grew up in Turlock, and that's where we were, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah, so it didn't just have to be in the '60s about cruising. You, you oh, know, no, a lot of people, no, you know. So a lot of us have grew up with that, right? And I think one of the what's nice about having it back the way you guys do it is the other generation can, can see what they missed out on, right? <laughs> right. You know, Absolutely. and be part of it now in a different way. Yeah. Well, I think Modesto still has that small town feel for getting to be a big city. Um, you know, here in the valley, it, it is one of those things that the kids get out of school. You know, graduation week's done, kind of get some time to chance to stay out till midnight or so, <laughs> possibly. Um, but it it's really uh, something exciting and to start celebrating your summer. Yeah, absolutely. It's yeah, it's the the, the community. Like you said, it's a community. It's still a community feel, even with a quarter million people in this town. It's a small town feel. And uh, this just brings, I think it really kicks off the summer, makes for a great community event. Yeah, I always say, but that's two, degree, two degrees of separation. You know, you know somebody who knows somebody versus that whole yeah. six degree. And you have to, yeah. and please be careful, be nice to people, because you never know when you need them. Right. Right. Yeah, you know, absolutely. That's, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if your car dies, it overheats, and you get, you <laughs> You're pushing it off the cruise off. route. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely make sure you have a triple A card. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we have a few, you know, about four minutes left to talk about different things. Was there anything you want to go back over that we talked about that you want to make sure everybody knows about? Um, maybe the starts. I, I would just uh, remind our, our, you know, community members, uh, folks that want to come out to see the parade on Friday. That's a free event. Uh, so 
So that's that's our opportunity to see these cars in action, uh, cruising down McHenry Avenue and down through the downtown loop, and doesn't doesn't cost you anything but your time. Come on out and you know park your uh, lawn chair on McHenry somewhere and and enjoy the the parade as it goes by. Um, and then our show over the weekend is just a, uh, a you know culmination of of a lot of work on our part, but. Uh, you know, we get to come out and see all the cars out there. But yeah, the parade on Friday. I just want to make sure everybody understands. You know, it's a it's a free event, and it, it, it it's remarkable to see, you know, McHenry Avenue empty of cars when we close it down, and then to see them loaded with all these classics, and to see spectators that are, you know, two and three rows deep all the way up McHenry Avenue. It's it's quite a sight. You know, and you know, really reach out to the community and just you remember to to be of the hospitable. Uh, how would I say attitude that you know we got to protect this and you know every year we're making history and uh, whether it's, it's our it's our own families or friends and you know family businesses and whatnot um, really we appreciate everybody coming out and uh, help us all protect this and keep this for our future. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you also want to get up to sixteen hundred cars to get the Guinness Book of World yeah, Records sixteen and one or something. Yeah, 16 that's, what, that's what Brent's looking for too. Yeah. I got to figure out how to put them all on the parade route. <laughs> now, where's the beginning exactly start line for the parade route? Is there multiple uh, yeah. ways in? Or yeah, just... sorry, great question. I uh, should explain that. So the, the official start of the parade is what is at what I call five points there, you know, uh, where the statue is and the jack-in-the-box. Right there is the beginning of the parade, and they'll head up McHenry Avenue. Uh, is that we, from J Street or from the other side? Uh, they'll be staged on oh. 17th. Okay. And then they'll they'll start off at 17th and head up McHenry Avenue and then come and then double back with do a U turn up at uh, just south of Briggsmore and then bring it back down uh, McHenry. Uh, and we stage the cars basically at 17th and five points and we stage them back onto I Street, I Street to 10th, 10th to J, and then. And then up McHenry Avenue before the parade actually Any starts. Any particular order that you know, or is first, it just first come, first serve? Last, and I would just mention that uh, for those car owners that are coming in for the parade, there is one entrance and one entrance only. Come in from the west on Orangeburg Avenue, and you'll make a right turn onto McHenry, and we'll be, you know, explaining you know, that to folks. And get in and parked early. Getting and, a parked and early. And go down and uh, enjoy some of our great restaurants we have downtown. Yeah. Yeah. Um, probably a good, what, 10 to 15 restaurants. Sure. Yeah. Um, go down in there, and your cars will be sitting in the middle of the street, and the PD's protecting downtown. You bet. All right, so about 20, minute, 20 seconds left for you guys to say whatever you want to say. Besides, bye, and thank you for being here. North Modesto Kiwanis uh, is a great, great club. We yeah, definitely would buy your breakfast if you want to come visit us. Uh, and looking forward to a great show uh, this this next week. All right. Brent? Everybody, get involved in your community. Uh because all of us help make this community better. Exactly. So uh, we appreciate everybody's help from individuals to businesses to membership. So uh, be, I'm very proud to be part of North Modesto Kiwanis. I am too. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.